Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. We have made several videos related to engine requirement of Indian Navy. If we recap, the two important takeaways are the number of engine requirement and dependency on countries. Indian naval vessels have requirement of more than 130 marine engines and some spares. At present, they heavily depend on Ukraine's Zoria mass procate. Though marine engines have huge lifespan, almost equal to the life of a warship itself. However, dependency on Ukraine in the present geopolitical situation is a big risk for Navy in longer run. Therefore, India is exploring options with engine manufacturers across the world to be able to develop and maintain the marine engine under Make in India in order to minimize the risk on its naval vessels and avoid the single vendor dependency. The Prime Minister of United Kingdom Boris Johnson and Sri Narendra Modi of India have recently announced in their joint statement on 22nd April 2022 that the establishment of a joint working group on India-UK electric propulsion capability partnership with goal of fostering military and industrial collaboration in maritime electric propulsion systems. The meeting seems to be successful as today G Power Conversion and Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited BHEL, have signed a memorandum of understanding as a first step of an exciting collaborative journey between UK and India. This collaboration between G Power Conversion and BHEL characterizes the UK's commitment to partnership with India in support of India's Aath Nevar Bharat. February 2021, Garden Research Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited GRSE have signed a memorandum of understanding with G Power Conversion. This MOU was another stepping stone to leverage the technology expertise of G Power Conversion, the shipbuilding expertise of GRSE and drive the synergy to design electric and hybrid propulsion system for future commercial and naval shipbuilding projects. GRSE have delivered high-end warships ranging from fast patrol vessels, survey vessels, LST, LCUs, fleet tanker, frigates, missile and anti-submarine warfare corvettes to Indian Navy and Coast Guard. Talking about G power conversion, it is pioneer in the field of integrated full electric and hybrid propulsion system for commercial and military naval sectors globally with equipment installed on some of the latest platform of US Navy and Royal Navy including Queen Elizabeth class of aircraft carriers. With around 1500 global ship references, G power conversion have massive experience in vessel power, energy, control operation needs and technological design and know-how to deliver flexible and reliable solution for integrated full electric and hybrid propulsion systems. G's dependable naval technologies are shock rated and proven on naval applications from 3 megawatt to 110 megawatt and include naval electric motors and generators, switchboards, power converters, power management and automation and control system. 110 megawatt power is required to drive Queen Elizabeth class of aircraft carriers. These systems provide flexibility in selection and layout of power generation equipment and drive elements with enhancement of stealth features and fuel efficiency. Keeping in mind the matured state of technology and potential for integration, electric propulsion have been identified as key technology for Indian Navy on new construction platforms and this MOU can be helpful in that regard. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.